I'm Jace. I'm Burjo. I am Jay. And this is what we did on the weekend. Featuring Jay from Slipknot. Yeah. Here we go. We're at Knotfest Melbourne 2023. Yeah. Uh, Slipknot. 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 How's that? How's travel in the world? <laughs> Totally uh, sick. Ten months a year. Totally sick. Yeah, yeah. probably something like that. Yeah. It's awesome. Takes everything we got, and uh, and yeah, it's it's a very creatively fruitful endeavor, I'd say, for myself and my bandmates. So yeah. we're happy to be here in Melbourne doing it. Yeah, it's sick. It's been what seven years since we last were in Australia. Way yeah. too long. Wait, way, way, way too long. long. That's seven like, years. Fuck yeah. Out. 2016 Halloween. We were there. That's, That's right. Long. Yes. That's right. And we expected a lot more people to become dressed up. Yeah. It's a Slipknot show on Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the. Uh, word. But you were already dressed opposite, up. You so didn't yeah. Do yeah the well, I've always joked that we should do like a casual Friday on Halloween where we're not. We're the ones that don't. We've said the same said, thing. We said the same thing. Like, pretty sure just wear normal clothes, like be, civilian clothes. Be pretty frightening. My wife has seen us practice in our street clothes. She's like, "That's way scarier than what What's you guys." Happening? Who yeah. are these dudes? <laughs> yeah, yeah I think that needs to happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how's the uh, the tour life? Because Slipknot, the biggest heavy band. I reckon the biggest band. With just the biggest band in the world. Slipknot then. And Metallica. All right, we'll take it. <laughs> How's that affect the personal life? Because it's a fucking, it's a big job. Well, it becomes your personal life. That's what you I mean. know, it, it just becomes your life. That's the only way you just got to submit to it completely. Yeah. You know, so it becomes a thing that we do all the time. We're the most proud of what we do. You know, with with Slipknot and. And we hit it hard. When we do it, when we're on, we are on. You know, when we're off, we're off, and we don't speak to each other. But when we're on, uh, <laughs> no, no we're That's we're wrong. incredibly grateful for the opportunity and to travel the world and bring it to bring this music as far as we can. And you know, it's what we all love to do with our life. So you know, this is like the greatest reward in and of itself. Not Fest Australia. Like to sick. be doing this is totally sick. Yeah. Is it hard to have all nine on at the same time? I mean, with the, the time when all nine of us are on is when everybody's watching on stage. That's when we all are able to connect and just totally throw ourselves into what we do. You know, I think um, from day to day, we kind of have our own routines that we're, we're comfortable with and probably, you know, for lack of a better way of putting it, like our meditative way of just getting into the mindset of what we do. Because, yeah, yeah it's, it's demanding, but like anybody in a band can relate to mm. it being demanding. Yeah. You know, you just you just give all of what you have to it. And um, and so you know we we kind of have our own little personal rituals. I'm sure that mm-hmm. we that we do. But then when it's when it's go time, when when it's all nine of us up there, it's a really special moment, and we don't take it for granted. So um, so yeah, you know, it's like we we do it a lot, but there's nothing else in life that we'd rather do. So this Let's is see. the best. Yeah. Um, how many times have you been voted drummer of the year? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know. Every year I just get a little thing. Of, I, I oh, mean, I'm, I'm incredibly appreciative that anybody would, you know, th- I mean, for me to be like amongst peers that I really like and, and enjoy as, as friends and as drummers and musicians and stuff, just the fact that like we're all here representing, you know, being our own little slice of a culture. Yeah. Because uh, the a drama huge, world is yeah. a slice of the music world. Well, and we're, you know, we are very tight knit, like even just get arriving at the festival today, seeing all my drummer friends and stuff like it's it's a really for me, that's the reward in and of itself is yeah. like just the fact that I get to be amongst people who I really respect, you know, at the craft as we all give it 100 percent out there. That's like the greatest gift of all. And so, um, you know, for, for it to be well received by listeners and, and fans of all of our bands and stuff, that's awesome. Um, you know, there, I, and, and yeah, I, I don't know, I, I push myself as hard as I can to to you know elevate my contribution to what our band is about and um, the fact that it's resonated with people is a is a total treat that's all gravy to me see you can tell us that you look at other drums go yeah I am the best in the world come on <laughs> flex, <laughs> look, flex a little bit you gotta do it that's not how I look at the instrument that's not how yeah. I look at it you know like we're all we're all so very different you know like well, I mm. my, the greatest joy I have is being on tour and and looking at guys who approach the instrument completely differently like we're you know we've been fortunate to tour with say Gojira for example right, and I get, to watch, and I get yeah. to watch Mario for like a month and a half in a row and just be like what a freak of nature he's so incredible yeah. and that you know I get to watch Inferno from Behemoth for two months and, and stuff it's just like all these guys who I really look up to and, and cherish and just like admire and to be able to uh, to sit down with them and talk about how they approach the drums and stuff is like 
if you could have told me I'd be doing that when I was 14 years old, like just yeah, teaching myself how to play yeah. drums, mm -hmm. it would blow my mind. It blows my mind now, yeah. you know? So it's, it's cool as fuck. Well. Yeah, yeah. So to live in the present and enjoy that is just like, it's a total treat. Some generic questions? We've yeah, got. So yeah. We always have generic questions. One of the ones right. we had, we thought for you would be, uh, what was the first gig you ever went to? first gig I ever went to, I'll say the first heavy metal gig I ever went to yeah. was OzFest 2001 hey. to see Slipknot. Hey. That's cool. um, the first gig I ever went to, I remember it being 1995, seeing The Who play Quadrophenia Fuck. at Madison Square Garden. To this day, one of my, still one of my favorite records of all yeah. time. And uh, that totally changed my life. And just being acquainted, listening to that record and understand, like not understanding, but just taking in Keith Moon's over the top drumming that yeah. set the template for like what my life would become. So that's it. I don't know, OzFest 2001, you're sitting there watching Slipknot. Yeah. And then how long later in, you're in 13, Slipknot? 13, 12 years after that, well, yeah. Crazy to watch that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, totally. <laughs> just the, oh, this is me now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is me now. Uh, yeah, no, it, it was, you know, our, our friendship, we've had a friendship going on 22 years now, you know? So uh, when when we started playing together, it kind of just like, it locked in. It was like, well, this makes all the sense in the world. Let's let's do this. You know, we got together, played like 20 songs, and then boom, you want to be in the band? And I said yes, and here we are 10 years later. <laughs> what's Australia. Yeah. Yeah, what's a... What's a horror story from a Slipknot show then? A horror story? Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you one from this summer. It was, at the very end, it was at the very end of our show. I remember it well, because whenever you have a nightmare scenario, it's just like, you can never forget it's about it. it. It's yeah, you wake yeah. up in a cold sweat, like, oh God. Um, we were in Atlanta, Georgia, back home, mm -hmm. and we were playing, it was the last song of the set, coming towards the end. I'm coming up to this double bass section, like, yeah, fucking rocking, it's feeling good. And my be the beater to my bass drum snaps in half. Fuck. <laughs> like, it literally, I, I hit it, and then all of a sudden I'm hitting, I'm, I'm playing, and it's yeah. not doing anything. I'm like, what the hell? It's like everyone on stage is like turning at me like what did you just do and like did we blow like everyone's like did we blow a speaker did we this yeah, and that yeah. no i broke a thing a in half off. so then i'm having to like shimmy over here and play the rest of the song and it's like the finale like oh yeah. what a rock show and then just the bottom just dropped out and so then my friend my drum tech is like trying to put in a new one while and then you, like while, you're while i'm playing Bruh. and i'm just like this is a nightmare where where a second feels like an hour yeah, yeah, yeah. and then uh and then i probably got like to the end of the song and all of a sudden oh it's here big rock and roll ending and i'm like sorry atlanta sorry <laughs> <laughs> you know but yeah total nightmare <laughs> on the other side what's your favorite show you've played favorite show i've played uh well i mean it's really hard to to pick any particular show my first show with slipknot was it was really special of course for obvious reasons um we recently did some festival dates in uh in south america that were just like unbelievable where you know everyone was being safe but like we were watching people jumping from balconies on yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. like oh my god but you know when you have that insane Passion, energy yeah. and yeah. seeing a guy in a seat being like i can't take being in this seat anymore i'm gonna jump off a balcony that's like <laughs> you know you're doing something right like that's pretty awesome that's See? wild yeah that's, that's it, it. Awesome. thank you all right thank you very much yeah, thank the you guys slipknot. <laughs> just a small band <laughs> thank, thank you guys you. Yeah, thank you totally I'm gonna